Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday and also happy first day of the 2022 World Cup. It is finally here over this next month. It is going to be so exciting following all these games inside of this tournament and especially inside of FIFA. What we want to talk about today is these Path to Glory cards and potentially investing in them as we expect nations to progress and as we maybe are hoping for these cards to get upgraded based on how their nation does. These cards go out of packs earlier than expected. So I want to take a look at potential buy times of these because I think we might in the next two days have two different opportunities to get invested in some of these cards. If that is something that you were interested in, some of these Path to Glories could be very investable, which could mean some coins later on on the line with price rises, as we've already seen from the Path to Glory cards from Team 1 that are going out of packs. So I want to talk about that today, but at the same time as we're maybe looking to invest in one corner of the market, we're seeing another side of the market keep dropping with panic selling and prices dropping because Black Friday is still at the end of this week. And that is one of the biggest things that is kind of hurting on this market right now. It's an impending issue for a lot of gold cards, a lot of informs. Their prices are probably going to continue dropping throughout the next day. And I want to talk about that in today's video. And what in the world could we see for content today? Could we see a mini release or maybe not? We'll talk through that today in this video as well. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. Let's dive right in and talk about these Path to Glory cards from Team 2 that are in packs right now and talk about investing in these. Well, the reason why we're thinking about investing in these is, of course, the live aspect to these, right? There's plenty of players in here that are representing some nations that we think will go pretty far in the World Cup. We've already seen some players, which represent some certain nations, already rise up very well out of packs only in a couple days' time. Think about some of these Path of Glories from Team 1. Bernardo Silva's up 100k from his cheapest point. De Young is up a lot. Koulibaly, Carvajal, Hall. Zakaria, Kim Min Jae, Jack Grealish, a lot of these players have risen a lot in price. Now, which ones are rising the most from this team? It could give us kind of an inside look on what cards could maybe rise the most from the current team that is in packs. Well, that's what I want to look at first is the cards that are rising the most from this team number one that has gone out of packs recently are the cards from nations that are expected to do pretty well, right? That's what we want to focus on in investing in this team too as well. Buying from those main nations like Portugal, like Brazil, like Spain, like um, Argentina, uh, and those types of countries that are expected to do well because A, there'll be more people investing in those, which will make the price rise higher, and B, I mean, there's just a better chance of them to get upgraded. So in general, you would expect their price to go up higher as well. So I think that's one of the main reasons why a guy like this Bernardo Silva is up so much, just because Portugal is expected to do well and he has a higher chance of getting upgrades in FIFA, right? That's the number one thing we want to look out for. Now, also, I mean, you want to look out for the meta aspect of these cards, too. You think about some of the cards that are in Team 2 when you look at this squad, and you see a lot of meta pacey players in here, right? Like Christian Pulisic, you see Lozano, which regardless of how these countries and how these players do at the World Cup, I mean, some of these guys are still going to be very meta and still very useful in the game regardless. You've got a Hullet Gang Goretzka, you've got a, a Papo Gomez that has insane dribbling stats that is very, like, literally perfect for the current meta of this game being as explosive as it is so you have to take that into account too when you look through a lot of these cards and that's probably helping guys like bernardo silva go up a little bit in price because he fits in very nicely to that, ex to that explosive meta same thing with Vinny jr but i would just focus on the guys that are coming from those main nations that should do well or just popular players in general in fifa right that just have some hype like the kim min jay rising up a lot zakaria um, rising up a lot. Araujo, right? Being a card that a lot of people knew. His gold card was so insane in FIFA that probably, and I've actually used it, this card is really, really good, right? The 86 rated Path to Glory. So when we look at who to buy, that's kind of the long, along the lines of what we're looking at. Now, when we talk about when to buy, there's a couple different windows that I'm looking at here. Um, I mean, we are expecting these cards to rise up because they're alive. But again, the question is when, right? Because we've got a couple things to look at. In the market right now, as it is, a lot of prices are continuing to drop because of the Black Friday panic and people are getting worried about what is to come with Black Friday. Now, today on Sunday, I would expect to see a little bit more pack supply. Sundays have been days in the past where you've seen some low prices on promo cards. Path of Glory Team 1 was decently low last Sunday as well. Yesterday on Saturday, we had a lot of packs added to the store. We had a 100k pack, a 50k, 
45, 35, and a 25K, and then a 30,000 coin foundations pack. While I don't think we'll get another one of these untradeable foundations packs today on Sunday, I do believe that EA will put out more of these promo packs since they expire today at Content Drop, and that's just what EA do. During the weekends, they drop promo packs because they know they can make more money, more people are on the game, opening these, trying to get the brand new promo cards that are in the game. So we could see a little bit of supply from that hitting the market today, but also what you have today is people finishing up their weekend league games and Sunday nights on the market are usually a pretty low time in general. So Sunday night is like the first buy opportunity, in my opinion, for a lot of these cards, uh, especially if you're looking to buy them and hold on to them for a while. Now, the other buy opportunity is we're going to look at tomorrow on Monday because this one, this one's really cheeky, by the way. Of course, on Monday, we are expecting to have the 89 max overall, like we talked about in yesterday's video, make sure you go check that out if you have not. The 89 max overall, hero, world cup hero, upgrade SBC, and just like we've seen with the base icon upgrade, the one that we had last week, I think, did it expire? No, it's still here. The base icon upgrade that we had from last week was one of the lowest times for the Path to Glory cards from Team 1 because both of these SBCs, that you had to do to get the base icon done gave out tradable pack supply so you had the combination of maybe people selling some of those path to glories last week and the supply hitting the market from this sbc could that same scenario take place again tomorrow on monday i think it is very very possible so two kind of scenarios between today on sunday in the evening into tomorrow with content for a lot of cards in this game it might be a really good buy opportunity to snag some of these Path to Glory cards. Now, if you're buying any of these cards, right? Let's say you want to go out and let's say you want to buy Christian Pulisic because you think the USA is going to rock out against Wales and you think they're going to ball out. And yeah, no bias there. But let's see. Let, let's say USA win 2-0 against Wales. And that's a game that would be a statement game for this card and, and really, really improve their chances of getting out of the group, right? I think that would move this card's price up even tomorrow, right? That would be a card that I would expect to move up after the game. Now, the game is not until after content. So that, of course, you have to think about things as well. Could there be a dip before the game and then rise afterwards if they win? potentially right could he also if Wales win with his Pulisic card drop absolutely because that would make their chances of getting out of the group a lot less with being down three points to Wales right off the bat so that's the risk with these cards but also the potential reward right you kind of see how that scenario fits in and how these cards are even going to move as soon as tomorrow uh, but I would really look to buy some of these cards you know if they've got a game that is tomorrow and Monday like so Kyle Walker Pulisic uh, I think, well, yeah, you've got Koulibaly and you've got De Young as well. These are the cards that I would look at first today because if you see a big price drop or a, honestly any sort of price drop on these cards today, it could create a pretty solid buy opportunity and a, and a buy window for them to rise up into the pre-game hype. You've already seen some of the players that have games um, as soon as tomorrow, like Koulibaly, like De Young, rising up faster and rising up first. I think just because people see that, oh my goodness, their game is coming really soon, and that just means they have a potential to, pl to play and a potential to win and get closer to an upgrade. So when looking at these cards as well, you might need to prioritize some of those guys first, but for the rest of them that play later on in the week, I think that I think that Monday looks really, really good, but I know there's a lot of FOMO, right? There's a lot of fear of missing out and buying a card and, and buying the card at the best price possible. Nate, when's the lowest going to be? Well, I'm here to tell you this. Let's say, let, let's use Pulisic as our example again, right? Pulisic's graph has been between about 85K and 79K. The lowest that he's been was 79,000 coins. He was just back down there again, like literally... Uh, 25, 30 minutes ago, and I was checking his price, and now he's 82K again, right? You know, if you buy Pulisic at 79,000 coins, or if you buy Pulisic at 82K, and USA win, and his price goes up to 95,000 coins, does that little difference matter that much? Not really, right? That's the kind of margins that you're playing with here on if you're expecting a card to go up that much because of them winning, and you want to bet on that, or you want to gamble with that and invest, then that's kind of, you know, you're if you're buying in the low point, that little three to four K difference is not going to matter on a more expensive card, right? Let's, let's say you wanted to buy Leon Gretzka. I'm just throwing out a price here, right? Right now he's 970. That's the lowest that he has been. Let's say his lowest point is 920,000 coins later on, maybe tomorrow on Monday. And let's say you bought it like 950. Well, if this card goes back up to 1.1 mil, are you going to care about that 30,000 coin difference? 
Probably not. So just to take a little bit of the fear out of it and to take a little bit of the pressure out of it, I think any time between today and tomorrow, you find a price that you like, you see the card go down a little bit, pull the trigger. If it's a card that you want for your team, you think they're going to do well, then really have no abandon with it. Now, if you're going to watch those games and watch during the World Cup, and let's say like like we've used it as an example in, in yesterday's video uh, with a little bit of an investing opportunity, let's say Iran score first against England, right? Let's just say they score a one-off goal and England go down, then you're going to see this Kyle Walker probably hit a new low because there's going to be a little bit of panic selling. Even though you'd expect them to win later on down the line, that could be a great flip opportunity opportunity too, there's going to be a lot of fluctuation with these cards. So I think that between today and tomorrow is a great opportunity to be looking into this, looking into these cards. And again, do a little bit of research, figure out which ones you think have the most potential rise based off of what team could go the furthest along in the tournament or which card maybe is undervalued for the meta of the game as it sits right now. But I just think in general that with the World Cup game starting today, with the hype starting today and then tomorrow and as we go on throughout this week and these cards, as we have said, leaving packs early, I think the next two days are going to be a good opportunity to get in if you want to invest and if you want to gamble a little bit on these cards that are in packs. Now, speaking of these cards that are in packs, are we going to get any more of these in packs today? Because usually on Sundays, we see a mini release. And last week, we had a mini release, right? We had the Kim Min Jae, the Zakaria, and the Canadian guy, right? So today, we're thinking, okay, could that possibly happen again? I think there's a potential for it. But I also think that there might not be a potential for it because of the exact same thing that we just talked about with only having these cards in packs for, what is it, five days instead of seven, they're leaving packs on Wednesday. That means if EA put a, a mini release today, those cards would only be in packs from today on Sunday until Wednesday. That's three days of supply. That's not a lot. And I think that maybe EA's, I think EA has covered every single nation so far with a live card via objective SBC or in packs. So I think there's probably, I wouldn't expect to see uh, and mini release today, unless we see some leaks. Now, I would give it like a 50 50 shot, I guess, uh, on whether we get a mini release today or not. I feel like we've got all the cards that we were supposed to get in uh, this in the packs and in objectives and stuff. So I am not expecting a mini release today. But again, I'll give it a 50 50 shot because it's EA and you never know. And they maybe want to sell a few more packs before the Path of Glory cards go out of packs. So we'll just have to see uh, what goes on there. But that's something to keep a watch out for for today's. Content. There's no leaks uh, regarding that. There's also no leaks regarding today's SBC. But if you remember, EA have also said that we should be getting these World Cup hero cards via objective and SBC. And I'm sure a lot of you guys remember because some of you have completed the SBC. But the Robbie Keane Foot Heroes World Cup SBC was dropped last Sunday. And this is a bit of a surprise. We had the leak heading into it. We do not have any leaks right now. Again, I will say that. But I just wonder if there could be another player SBC today, whether it is a World Cup hero or whether if it is a brand new version of a Path to Glory. Uh, of course, we had the Anaki Williams yesterday, which does not look that great of value, although it is very pacey. He got a three-star weak foot upgrade instead of a four. Of course, he switched nationalities. And the price here, I think, for a lot of people just isn't the best. Uh, of course, expecting him to not get that many upgrades. But it does expire in six days. And if you think about six days from now, that would be after Ghana's first game. So you might be able to do this SBC after you see maybe if Ghana were to draw against Portugal and get a point. Well, maybe there's some opportunity there depending on how the other games go. So that's an SBC you can kind of sit and wait on if you really want to. But I think a lot of people were not very happy with that. If you go look at Footbin, it's got a lot of down votes. And I think for decent reason, uh, there are some downloads there on that SBC. So content today on Sunday, I would expect to play SBC, but who knows? In all honesty, those store packs should ref refresh, and then we'll see if we have anything else other than that. Again, we think that that World Cup Heroes pack is going to be tomorrow on Monday. If it were to drop today, uh, then that would be absolutely nuts, uh, and you would see a lot of panic on the market. And, and honestly... If the World Cup Hero Pack drops today, the max 89 rated, then today would, in my opinion, be the day to go out and buy a lot of cards because you'd probably see a combination of panic and supply that after rewards rise uh, on Sunday night into Monday morning like we usually see, then that will be the definite low point for that. But we'll kind of cover that when we see it. We'll be streaming today, uh, so we'll be covering that and uh, content drop today, watching the market, of course, as always. Now, speaking of the market, once again... 
As we talked about a couple days ago, the Black Friday window of panic is probably opening, and I would say that it is opening, right? I'm using the Mbappe as the example here. 1.08, 1.079 is Mbappe's current price. If you take a look at his graph, and if you've been tracking this price at all, you know that it is it is dropping, right? Mbappe started the day yesterday at 1.13, slowly falling all day down to where he is now. I think that there is more drop on the way coming for some of these meta gold cards that are going to get supplied a lot for Black Friday and probably for the informs as well, right? We had a crazy Mbappe spike over the weekend on Friday with this inform card and the new meta changing, and now he's kind of coming back down as one of the most popular cards that's probably going to get in best of team of the week as we start to think about cards that are going to be in that. Same thing with Neymar, right? Neymar was 1.16, now he's 1.11. So you're seeing the market start to drop off, especially in the golds, especially on those informs, but also where I'm seeing a lot of price drop right now are on some of these World Cup hero cards. Look at Land and Donovan, 259. Now, I think some of these World Cup hero cards, as we've been saying since yesterday, were a bit overvalued anyway. I think these guys didn't get supplied enough on Friday compared to the first team of the World Cup heroes that started very cheap last week. I think, wow, Captavia is 229. That's crazy. Crazy, what a drop he's had today. You know, it makes sense on one hand, but it also is kind of crazy to see how much these guys are dropping. I think what this drop really is, is it's a combination of panic for that max 89 hero SBC, and it's just, especially for the cards that are in packs, again, these World Cup heroes, or sorry, in packs the first time, but the World Cup heroes from Team 2 just finally getting some supply and getting sold off a little bit from Weekend League. That's why you're seeing these prices drop a good amount, in my opinion. Joe Cole is 300,000 coins. Goodness me. That was a 350,000 coin card yesterday at Content. Really didn't move that much, and it's just kept dropping since then. So keep an eye on these cards. They are very rare, so they might be flippable in terms of a trade. Uh, that Joe Cole card is one that I know, and I've watched him be pretty rare on the market, but he hasn't had as many fluctuations as I would have liked him to have. So it's not been a card that I've really been successful in trading with that much yet. Uh, you know, like even Brolin was like 600K all day yesterday. And right now, I believe I just saw him at like 530. Like that's crazy. 520 even? Is he going even lower right now? 531. Like that's crazy to see the drop off that you're seeing right there on uh, on that sort of card. So speaking about that SBC once again really fast, just to take a quick look at fodder. Uh, you know, we've got, we've, we've got fodder cards just continuing to kind of hold their price and go up as people anticipate this SBC and maybe stock some clubs, cl cards in the club every single day that we get closer to it. Honestly, what I would say, guys, is put one or two of these in the club if you need them. Get the fodder that you would potentially need to get a max 89 hero SBC done. Couple 88s, couple 89s, and then fill your club with maybe some 85s, 84s. Um, you know, I think around 2 to 250 is going to be the price for this SBC. It might be a little expensive, depending on the packs back, though. It'll be a gamble a lot of people want to do. Again, we talked about that in yesterday's video if you want more analysis there. But, um, yeah, fodder is just kind of holding its own. Even with that little bit of supply that we saw, it's just kind of holding its own and, and sitting there and, and, uh, People are just waiting for that SBC to drop, and then we'll see what happens based off of the price. But the last thing I want to talk about is just back to my first point about investing in some of these cards, World Cup Path of Glories. Their price is looking okay uh, on a drop today or tomorrow for a buy time. With the market dropping for Black Friday, some of you guys might be like, Nate, are you, aren't you worried about these guys' prices dropping even more? Well, yes and no. No, because take a look at guys like Anthony wants to watch. Yeah, he was 360. He got panic sold with the first uh, panic selling heading into uh, the World Cup content. But then look where he's at now. Back to 370. Like, he is the highest that he has ever been. Uh, of course, this card is still live and still gets an upgrade at when Brazil win a game in the World Cup. He will get a plus two, and that's why there's hype. But you take a look at some of these other OTW cards like Rudiger, 550k. This guy has only been going upwards his whole time that he's been out in the game, right? It's all because they're still live and they still have hype for upgrades. That's why I like these cards. And that will be the last point that I'll leave you with is I like these World Cup Path of Glories because they're live. And the minute that they don't become live, yes, that hurts them a lot. And that means that they can drop off in value. But until you get to that point, you're looking at cards that have a lot of hype because they're live. And these games are starting today. And it's the best because the World Cup 
is finally back and it's finally here and we're all super duper excited to watch the games starting today on Sunday and of course follow that along with some content in FIFA. I mean, last thing here in the video is content today, hopefully some sort of like welcome to the World Cup or the World Cup is here, SBC and FIFA. That'd be great, EA Sports. Kind of acknowledge that. I know we have the showdown for the game tomorrow. Maybe some more showdown leaks coming as well. I think that these would drop pretty consistently during um, the World Cup as well. Hopefully the next games we have they choose a little bit better player selection, but still, nonetheless, those showdown SBCs should be pretty good. And I lied. I got one more thing. Last thing is all the trades from yesterday. We made a really good amount of coins yesterday. Had some times to trade. I bought this Carlos Alberto at 650. I bought all these Gomez at 420. He actually ended up going higher, but I sold him for the quick flip and took the coins. I bought this Alawari on at 640. Made like 12K there. Uh, and then I had some tax losses. I bought some Captavias at like 245. Sold them at 249. Uh, with Joe Cole as well, bought him at 340, sold him at 350, bought some Crosco in the 130s, sold at 147, bought a Pulisic at a 79k, bought at 80 or sold at 87, and I bought a bunch of Lozano at 179 to 181, and sold most of them for like 194 to 197. So some really good flips, really good time flipping on the market yesterday. Made a lot of coins back, still building that coin total up and up and up, and hopefully we can continue to make coins this week with some of these path to glories but if you enjoyed this video today smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new happy first day of the world cup it's been nathan for the count i'll catch you guys later peace out